Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another quick unboxing first impressions video. Today I'll be featuring the R36S as you see and I've been seeing this device for a while on social media, Discord and YouTube and people are really really positive about this device. And I think this is a clone device. As you see, it's an original clone of the Paukity RGB20S. And I think it's, apart from being clone, it's the cheapest RK3326 device you can find. I was thinking that GameForce Qi, which is $65, that is one of the first RK3326 devices, was the cheapest on the market until this bad boy came up. I picked this from Aliexpress for $45 and they also include free shipping. I'll include the link in the video description if you are interested. And I think for $45 this would make a great budget emulation king. And of course as you know um, I'll just share with you the information here, Let's do some quick unboxing. And later I'll do some a, comp a quick comparison video because I also have Ambernix RG353VS which is a uh, vertical handheld like this. Of course that one is RK3566 chipset which is more powerful than this but it also comes with double the price which is around $90. Okay, so let's get started. As you see here, I ordered the translucent or transparent purple. And I love transparent shells or consoles, as you know, for two reasons. First, it's really, really nostalgic to me. They remind me of the 80s LCD games. Plus, they don't collect uh, lots of fingerprints. So these are the reasons I always prefer translucent or transparent shells. So, on the side you have the three colors, as you see, they offer it in clear black, clear purple, and white. On this side there's nothing. Here there's some, you know, uh, hotkeys, but I think the, the printing ink is quite difficult to read. I'll try to focus the camera, but it's very, very hard to read. So let's look at here. Okay. On this side there's nothing. Um, front, as you see, this comes with a screen resolution of 640 by 480, which is the same screen as you find on many Ambernic devices. And I think for that price range, this is really, really cool screen. It's an IPS screen, as you see. And then it comes here with the features. Uh, you can connect to a gamepad, and then I think probably a RetroArch, the chipset, and then it has two or dual micro SD card slots one for the operating system and one for your game ROMs. Okay, at the back, as you see here, let me focus the camera. It has the RK3326 chipset with a clock speed of uh, 1.5 gigahertz CPU. The RAM is 1 gigabyte. I'll include these specs in the video description as well. 3.5 inch IPS fully laminated screen. It doesn't have Wi Fi. You have to use a dongle, as you see, the 802.11a uh, dongle. Bluetooth, I think, 4.2. It says it supports up to PS1, uh, PSP, and NDS, but I think probably only some games, because the RK3326, it's not so powerful to have a um, flawless PS1 and PSP emulation. Probably some titles from this system, but not all. And it has 3200 milliamp battery, you know, giving you around five hours of gameplays. Okay, so that's the information on the back. So let's open it up. Basic packaging, as you see, 
let's look at the contents of the packaging anything under it it has a generic uh, USB-A to USB-C charging cable that comes with most of these affordable devices as you see and then it has oh it has a screen protector as well very very nice it has also the wet and dry wipes as you find on most Ambernic devices as well and it has the manual which I believe would be in English and Chinese yeah as you see here guys it's a it's a clone of the RGB 20s from Pau Kitty the guys even didn't bother to change this unbelievable okay so there you go some info about the wattage and the power output input warning instructions charging instructions as you see and then the hotkeys here the combinations as well okay so quite basic information but it's good it's in English so that's nice okay so that you're that's what you're getting let's look at the unit itself Wow this is a nice handheld I didn't expect to have this good quality it's not premium build quality but I think for $45 this is not bad okay so let's have a look I love the ridge here the texture and I think what good, one good thing about this device it has that the battery compartment or the battery tray is uh, changeable so you can open this up and change the battery if you need let me use a pin okay there you go so you can swap the battery in case it's dead or not working anymore but this is a cool feature I think Looking at the back, as I said, you have the shoulder buttons. They are a bit clicky and loud, as you hear. But as I said, for the price range of $45, that is absolutely fine. As you see the info here, R36S, 3500 milliamp battery, and there you go. So that's the back on one side here you have the volume and then you have uh, one of the SD card slots this is for OS I don't know if you can zoom it on the camera it says TF1 OS the operating system and I think it comes with 64 gigs of an SD card that has some preloaded games on it. Let's test it together. Let me open it up for you. Yeah, I think it's 64 gigs. Okay. And then we'll put it back. We'll turn it on and see what operating or stock OS it has. Probably an outdated version of Arc OS. So let's have a look. On the other side, as you see here, we have the uh, power button, and then we have the reset button, and then we have the second SD card slot that says TF2 Game. So these are for your game ROMs. But this translucent purple color is unbelievably beautiful. Wow. 
I can't believe that they can clone this for $45. So at the bottom, we have two USB-C ports. One is the OTG and one is your charging DC. And then we have in the middle 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And these are two speakers, down firing speakers, as you see. And then we also have, um, oh, sorry, we also have the speaker in the center. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. These are not the speakers. These are just opening holes. There is only one mono speaker in the middle, which is this one. Okay. On top, there is nothing, as you see. When it comes to the face buttons, I think they are a bit clicky. But they are not that bad. I don't mind it. The D-pad is good as well. It feels good. It's close to the Ambernic D-pads for that price. And then here we have uh, the function button in the middle. Then we have start and select. These are a bit clicky and loud, but I think it's fine. The analog sticks, I think they are okay. Let's check, is there R3, L3? Yes, they are clickable. So there is L3, R3. Okay, I think in general, as a first feeling, it's a really good console in the hand. The screen is a little bit elevated, as you see here. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. So, this is the R36S in my hands. It feels really, really good. So, let's open the screen. Yeah, there's a bit ridge on the sides, which is really cool. Now, let's start and fire this bad boy. I'm not sure if it has battery. Oh, it does. Cool, it does. There's a little blue LCD here, the light. Yes, ArcOS 2.0, and I think it's an outdated version of ArcOS. Cool. Capcom favorites. Arcade, MAME, PC Engine, Famicom, SNES, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NDS, okay, Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Game Gear, Neo Geo, PlayStation 1, PSP, Arcade, and old games, cool! <coughs> Now, I heard, I just heard from uh, Amber Elect's Discord, I'm a huge fan of Amber Elect as a Linux custom firmware, that you can have their build that they use for Ambernic RG351MP. So that build or that image works for this device as well. And I'm really looking forward to try that because Amber Elect is one of my top favorite custom firmwares when it comes to Linux. So in my next video, I'll probably showcase how to install uh, Amber Leg on this device, which is, I think, really, really cool. I'll also do a quick comparison with my RG353VS that I have, like size comparison. But I think today, this will be the video. In general, I'm quite happy that I purchased this device. I'll always, as I always do, I do the quick unboxing, then I do, um, let's say, custom firmware review showcase or quick guide, then a couple of videos on, on gameplay as well. I'm looking forward to do more videos on this device to find out how good is this budget emulation king for $45. Okay, guys, I think that would be for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and always remember, 
We don't stop gaming because we grow old. We grow old because we stop gaming.